Just quickly, Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool will face Fulham in the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup. Archery side tonked West Ham 5-1 live on Talk Sport last night. I think I said 5-1, didn't I? After the game, Moni Moni Klopp surprisingly had another moan, this time about his own fans. Have a listen. Well, the first half a little bit when, when the boys played really exceptional. I was not overly happy, I have to say, now with the, with, with the atmosphere behind me. I don't know. I, don't, I ask people, what do we want? So we change a lot of things. We dominate West Ham like crazy. We miss chances. And I, I, if I would be in a stand, I would be on my toes. We need Enfield on Saturday. We need Enfield on their toes from the first second. Without me get, having an argument with the opposition coach, whatever, we need you from the first second. So if you really want, if it's too much football in December, I don't know. Sorry, we have to play it as well. But if you are not in the right shape, give your ticket to somebody else. If you're not in the right shape, give your ticket to someone else. That's terrible. Go isn't on, it? Klopp. Isn't that terrible? Uh, listen, if you're I'll, not in the right shape, sell it. Get I'll, rid of I'll it. I don't, it. I don't even want you in the I'm ground. Are you trying to stir trouble? No, you. I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, give it a rest. Of you. I, I, I get it along with you as to why he's saying it. Yes. So the football fans go, oh, I'll show Klopp here. I'll make some noise. Yeah, but listen, I think I think Liverpool fans already know. I mean, come on, now. he's out there at the end of the game yesterday doing his. That hey, hey stuff. Do you know what I, I mean? It's all, it's all it. tongue and cheek. I can't stand it. Why? I just can't stand it. No, you, he, you know, you know, it's a backhanded compliment. You know, mm. sometimes there are players and you despise them, like yeah. Drogba. Yeah, right. Despise Drogba. Did you? If he, yeah. If he was he, playing for rip you lost backside. That's you, why. But that's why. If he was playing for my club, love him. Yeah. But Charleston's another one. Yeah. People. Well, no. I can't but stand not. Him. Yeah. But not on that level. You don't. You. I was. You know. You'd be desperate for a Drogba at your club, wouldn't you? Yeah. Absolutely desperate. He's so good. Do you know what I think? And it's crazy. He speaks about Anfield because me playing there, and people spoke about like some of the best. Atmospheres. I would say Ample was right at the top when I played there. Yeah, but you speak, even Gary Neville last weekend, went, the May United game, yeah. said the atmosphere was awful. Yeah, it was like it's odd. And Ryan said that a few times as well. But he's obviously just trying to generate that atmosphere because he knows Arsenal big game at the weekend. It's. I think the atmosphere would be raucous in there anyway against it Arsenal. Should be, shouldn't it? Exactly. The Man United game One was and flat. Two going for it. But I, I thought the whole game was flat. The performance was flat, and I think it's a little bit of both because if you look at for, certainly the game against Manchester United. I can understand why it was a bit flat. I mean, like Salah's misplacing five-yard passes. So Bosler probably had his worst game in a Liverpool shirt. Something against Manchester United just wasn't clicking. So that's why it was flat. Last night against West Ham, they get the job done. Late on, they start scoring, scoring, scoring. Mm. Arsenal coming up, who are playing well, top of the league. Could be second by the time Villa play tomorrow. But playing against Arsenal, it's like a top-of-the-table clash. I fully expect... Because a lot of Liverpool fans as well, going into that United game, would have thought, we'll smash these. Because we smashed them last year. We smashed it and it didn't happen. Can you get hangover from a game? Do you think that it was quiet last night because of the fact that Jurgen, sorry, that, that Liverpool fans expected Liverpool to smash Man United? It didn't. Potentially. So there was a bit of a hangover last night. Yeah, potentially. It could be that as well. Um, that they think oh, it was a bit of a disappointment against United. But against Arsenal at the weekend, it will be loud in there again. Because mm. it, it always is. How important do you think that crowd is to Liverpool um, for that game? They are. That's a, one of the, the clubs where you go, their supporters, and the, they're all connected. Like we've said it before on this show, certainly Champions League games, night time at Anfield, second leg, forget it. Yes, don't, don't want to go I agree there. With that. Do not want to go there. Because for whatever reason, it doesn't really matter. And prime example of that was when they were getting smashed by Barcelona. So they need to score four in the second leg, not a problem. Yeah. Anfield's a okay. tough place to go. I'm not here tomorrow, I just said I'm at darts. How many times you So I won't, I won't be able to talk to you about that game. What do you think the score will be? Tomorrow? Yeah, no, Saturday. But I'm uh, not in tomorrow to talk yeah. about it. 2-2 two, two. You take a draw? Yeah I think you've got to right? Yeah If you're above them in the league you always got to take a draw 2-2 two, two, Get think. the game out of the way What do you think the score will be? I, do you know what? I have no idea well, I, Do you know what's funny? When yeah. I asked you that question I knew you were going to say that I know but, some, but sometimes you get an idea well, if, give, if, if it's the Liverpool that set up Man United you'll just, beat them Just give me a score prediction please A draw I mean 2 all. So you just copy what I said? Yeah <laughs> Okay <laughs> Yeah like, Desmond but I hope you lose but not to Liverpool. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what I want to happen in that game. I can't see you winning the game. Put it like that. I think it'll either be a home and or draw. I can't see you winning it. Why? I just can't. Talk Sport Drive. Super opinionated sporting debate. Monday to Friday afternoon from four on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.